Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. This is going to be the last lesson on queuing, which is really good because I really want to move on. But anyway, um, so the question that we're going to do in this lesson will be on uh, multiple servers. So you guys get a bit of an idea on what to do uh, when there is more than one server. Okay, so the question is, at Burger Queen, uh, there are 30 customers waiting when the restaurant opens. It takes on average 90 seconds to serve a customer. If no more customers arrive and there are four service points operating, how long will it take to serve them? So firstly, let's calculate um, how much time we need to service these people. So there are 90 seconds are needed to serve one customer. There are 30 customers, so 90 times 30 is 2,700 seconds required to serve all customers. Right now. Here is the cool thing, because this 2,700 seconds is required if there is only one service point. Okay, but because there are four service points, we can actually divide this number by four. So 2,700 divided by four, and the answer is 675 seconds all right now second question if the inter arrival time for customers is 30 seconds how many servers are needed to prevent the queue from growing so um, as we said previously uh, if the uh, if the service time is smaller than the inter arrival time, right? If you think about it, if the customer, if the time it takes to serve a customer is smaller, i.e., quicker than the time it takes between each customer arriving then Q will not form or grow right because as soon as a customer comes you finish serving them before the next customer comes so what that means is the service time right now is um, 90 seconds, all right, because it says 90 seconds here. So 90 seconds uh, is the service time for one service point. Now, we need the service time to be smaller than 30 seconds, right, because according to this condition, if the service time is 90 seconds, which is a lot bigger than 30, right? Then the queue will start, the queue will grow. So if we divide this by 90 seconds divided by 2, which is what the service time will be if we have two service points. So 45 seconds if there are two service points. Right. When there's one, one service point, it's 90 seconds. When there are two service points, it's 45 seconds. When there are three service points, right, three people serving, you would go 90 divided by 3, which will give you 30 seconds, which is the same as the inter-arrival time. Okay, which is the same as the inter-arrival time. So the answer is going to be answer three service points. 
when there are three service points the service time will be 30 seconds which is the same as the inter arrival time so the queue will not grow the queue will not grow there will always be the same number of people in the queue um, if the service time is the same as the inter arrival time okay let's give you guys another question okay so I just made this one up um, it takes 30 seconds for one attendant to clean a car okay now um, if an attendant can only work eight hours a day and the car cleaner shop has a hundred cars to wash in one day how many attendants are needed to wash or clean or whatever it is so you got a hundred cars it takes 30 minutes to clean each of them so times 30 would be 3000 minutes to clean all the cars all right 3000 minutes so um, the attendants can only work 8 hours a day so divide that by 8 hours so um, 60 minutes actually let's just convert this to hours so 3000 minutes to wash all the cars which is how many hours divide that by 60 so 3000 divided by 60 is 50 hours okay now because an attendant can only work eight hours a day and you've got a hundred cars to wash now 50 hours is how many it'll take if there was only um, one attendant All right but obviously uh, we have more than one attend we're gonna employ more than one attendant so 50 hours divided by eight is um, 6.25 now you can't employ 0.25 of a person can you so you need seven mechanics All right because if you have seven mechanics working then um, they will have in total so eight hours per person then yeah it'll be enough to clean all these cars okay so thanks for watching guys hope you learned something from today's tutorial see you next time